want to look at some of the unused elements of Farazzle's Wand. There's a number of things that appear in the final game that aren't actually used in any of the levels. So for instance, let's take a look at documentation. If we go to spells and power-ups, you'll see it has a write-up for each of the spells we use. But there's a few objects in here that we haven't seen, like a hammer to break through walls without magic, a Vorpal Dirk to do more damage than the dagger, the Mist Potion, this is an interesting one because this is actually fully implemented and you can add it in an editor, but it's not used in the game. It allows you to float around a little bit, reach areas you couldn't otherwise reach, and then return to your body. There's some interesting things there. Uh, music, the music is all here. I've mentioned a few times some of the different music tracks. Like, I think this is Labyrinth 2, or the other Labyrinth track that's not used. These might have been meant for title cards or maybe bonus levels or something more, I'm not quite sure. If we pull up the game in res edit, we can see this should have a lot of sprites in the backgrounds. So these look familiar. These are backgrounds that have been used for that parallax scrolling. They get layered. So there's one of the lower layers there that's used in that scrolling. You can see the forest tile set, the ice tile set, some unused graphics. I don't think that was used in the game. A lot of these look like they were built with Bryce or something. Bryce was a, an early 3D terrain editor for Mac that was very common at the time. Pretty powerful too, I, I've always enjoyed Bryce. Because you can make a lot of neat stuff without much 3D knowledge. And this color palette info. Let's take a look at... Music is there, we'll look at sprites in a moment. This is probably going to be all of the all of the attack sounds, things we've heard. Sprites will be interesting. There's a lot of things that weren't used. There are character animations here. I'm not sure where that is used. Inventory, item animations, they're all here. So you can see like the locket, uh, these frames, a mirror piece. Clearly these were meant to be doing something more. Poppy muffins, orb of light. Not all of them are implemented, but a lot of them were started. Backgrounds for boss fights. Some sort of projectile. Wall of Fire, yeah, these are the different blocks. And a number of these are not used either, as far as I know. There's a lot of things that could be done with this tile, tile set. Let's see, art, weapons, there's some enemies. This looks like yeah, the Manitraki warriors here. Here's the fish. The little armadillo pine. The troll. Yeah, this is the fire boss. There was actually meant to be an ice boss, but it was going to be the same as the fire boss. So I think it was removed. More stuff for Zitra. A lot of unused things from other tile sets, like that version of the boulder I don't remember seeing. In fact, the forest world was meant to be a little bit larger because there are some characters in here who are kind of wood nymphs or elves that the graphics are in place, they just weren't put into the game. And here we go. So there's the ice wall. I wonder if this type of wall, these were button activated and switch activated in the final game. Maybe the hammer was meant to break those walls down. I, I'm not sure. And they decided to use the switch mechanism for it. 
and the hammer became unnecessary. I don't know for sure. Different types of stalactites. Yeah, here you go. So here's some unused characters. We saw that guy, Ends of the Earth. But here's a forest nymph, Terran, or Tarian, not sure. Oops. Sarah is there. Here's a, maybe this is a boss, I don't know, forest nymph matriarch. Some of the third party plugins make use of those characters. Poppy Muffin, Hammer. Here's the dialogue. So some of these were used in the Purple Haze level. Here's the, the nymphs. The matriarch there. And a few more last things. Not sure what those are. So there are a number of graphics that Andrew Hunter made that weren't used in the final game. Titles, let's see, is there anything in here? Yeah, this is all the main title stuff, loading screens, credit screens, menu buttons, the uh, intermediate level title cards. It's kind of fun to explore this stuff in ResEdit. All these old games tend to have everything exposed. That's why cheating with Pandora's box and things can be pretty easy. Most of this stuff, though, the mascot world is binary data. Although we should have a level names. Here we go. Here you can see the levels corresponding to their different IDs. Most of them we recognize. They are in the final game. A couple, for instance, Ice Caverns 3 and Ice Boss, those are not in the final game. We only had these two, Ice Conoclism and Flash Freeze. I'm guessing they ran out of time or they decided that there wasn't any need for another ice level. But the ice boss, I'll, I'll dig it up. There's an old post from Ben where he said there was an ice boss identical to the fire boss. It was just going to have, I guess, kind of a bluish white fireball instead of the orange fireballs. And they decided to remove it because it was too repetitive, which I think is the best decision because that would have been two bosses that were basically identical. Mountains. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a mountains level in the final game. There were actually a few dropped levels in the game. Because, for instance, some of these signs will reference the beta. If you look at what beta testers said, there were some early levels, like there was um, right before Unemployed in Greenland, after killing the Manitraki Warrior, I think. Maybe in the beta there was a, an ascent level where you were climbing up a maze, kind of like you were going down in the dig. And a few other levels that were removed here and there uh, that never really made it out of the beta. Here we go. Here's a sign from beta. It says this level is not complete just here, so the map won't have a big gap in it. It'll be here in beta 4. So you can see some of the development stuff in these early signs. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting look at what's in the data. There is a save game editor called Faraz Edit. I'll talk about the level editors in another video. Faraz Edit allows us to open save files, and we can actually add in a lot of the things that aren't in the game, like mist potions, poppy muffins, and such. So let's do that, and then let's pull up a character, and we'll look at that character with all the extra things and use that to explore some of the other things in the game. I'm going to open my playthrough final character, who's the last save. And yeah, you can see the coins, you can see the score. All that looks good. Let's add in a few things. So let's add a hammer. Whoops. I should have done plus one. Oh, I made it a spell slot. Let's add another spell at least, yeah. So early on there were two different types of ice wall, but you could accidentally get the wrong one, and they don't always work 
because some of these are not implemented. So I'll add an ice shard and oh, maybe sandstorm. Maybe that unused graphic we saw that I didn't know what it was is used for sandstorm. Uh, here we go. All right, let's make this an item now. Let's give ourselves a hammer. Let's give ourselves a poppy muffin. And I'm going to take a few mist potions. We have seeds, we can get charms. Ice pick, escape ring, magic shield. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and get one of these mirrors. I think these things could have been used maybe for keys to levels. Because for instance, we have the piece of the frame and we have the frame, but you also have the completed Algermon. Uh, light orb, let's add that as the last one. You've noticed the dynamic lighting. I commented a few times there was dynamic lighting in the game. I think some of the levels were meant to have completely pitch black areas. And probably in those areas, you were meant to have an item, this light orb, that would illuminate your character. They didn't end up using it. I don't think that part is implemented. But anyways, they have the graphic for it. So let's save PT Final Mod. Okay. And let's launch the game. All right, let's bring up that modified character. I'm just going to show you quickly a handful of things. Not everything came in here. We're missing the frame, the light orb. I need to show the purple dirt as well, actually. I'm going to go back to Scent of Peril and use that as a way to show parts of levels that weren't really completed or, or finished in the game. There's some other hidden areas, like the end of the fire cave where you can go find a res necklace and finishing up eastern reaches, but I've showed those in previous videos. There's other parts that you really have to either look in the editor or use something like a mist potion to see. So let's take a look at some of that. There's a good spot, probably. Okay, so first I'm going to show these spells don't really do anything. They're not implemented. So Sandstorm does nothing. Yeah, I'm wondering if that graphic that looked like a Sandstorm, that I didn't know what it was, maybe it is for that. But none of these work. The hammer also isn't implemented. Poppy Muffin, probably a quest item like, like the mirror would be. Mist Potion is fully implemented. You just drink it, and then it kind of turns you into this floating spirit, treats everything like water. You can just swim around in the air. The problem is you have to return to your body by flying back to your body within 30 seconds. If you don't, you die, and you'll have to use a resurrection necklace. But this is a really neat way to explore things. Like you can see there's a finished area here with a teleporter uh, and Ceridian Brine, but they never connected it to any other thing in the game. And more unused elements down here, patch of water. Kills us. Those cannons send everything flying. I suppose they removed this, because even though it was implemented, they probably decided it just exposed too many bugs in the game, because you can explore every part of a level, and it kind of removes some of the magic when you get power-ups. Okay, let me show another character. So this is a character from an earlier playthrough I did. This one has, here you go, here's the frame and the shard. The light orb doesn't do anything. 
the Vorpal Dirk is actually implemented. And it does work. So some third-party plugins do use that. It does twice the damage of a dagger, so it's more like having an ice pick before you can get the ice pick. Strangely, this character had a higher score. If you look at the lower left corner, my overall score for this character was higher. But I actually didn't finish more. Like, I don't think I finished that part of Ice Coniclism. Maybe I did it with a Mist Potion and came back. So I'm not exactly sure how the, the scoring mechanism works. Because in the playthrough, I really did finish just about everything. Maybe it counts against you when you use potions, I'm not sure. Here I can visit that area really easily with a Mist Potion. And then when I come back to my body, I have Penta Shields now. Interestingly, there is a fish down there, actually. So see, this, this character should have a lower score. Because all that stuff was finished in the other one. I do think the score ties into the final boss fight. Oh, that's interesting. Because when I fought Zitra in both this character and the playthrough character, that was a really tough boss fight. But I've had other times where she's not so tough. I think she takes more hits the higher your score. But I've not really calculated that. Now some people theorize there was meant to be a lot more content. I personally don't think that. We already know the ice boss was scrapped because it was going to be a duplicate. So in my, my opinion, it's probably no more than a couple levels, maybe a forest level or two, and a single side quest, like on the scale of rescuing Nimbo, probably to do with those, those mirror frames, the Algernon, Gwendolyn, um, importance of being earnest characters that they reference, but that would probably be no more than a side quest with the nymphs, so not a whole lot removed. Anyways, that's really all I wanted to show you with, with respect to the items that are implemented in the game. There's enough there though, you can see that there's a little bit of unused tile set, a few items that have been implemented, but the levels and the, the stuff just wasn't used in the game. As it is, there is at least the editor, which they released publicly so that fans could make use of some of it. So we'll look a little bit at that next.